So this is going to be Wings Thing with Loops 3. So I recommend you watch Wings Things with Loops 2 and 1 before you watch this one. Now on this one I'd already put on YouTube, uh, I had a very helpful suggestion, I hope I've not got that playing, stop, from uh, L. Cleveland Major. And it was pointing out that you certainly, that when you assign materials to a model in Wings, Bryce will recognise each mat zone as a different object. Now that's great news because that's given me an idea. Now if I right click now, and if you remember in number 2 uh, with the octahedron, I was having problems with getting the sides to meet in the middle of the object. When you intrude, things can move around. And things get even more difficult if you use this shape, which is an octatode. I don't know if I've pronounced that right. So if I select these three sides, which are all different uh, shapes, uh, well, proportions and shapes, and use identical, so that's got the whole shape selected, right click and inset as I did before, and then intrude, and then move my camera forward so I can see inside. You can see that uh, some of the geometry doesn't move around quite as you expect it to, and you can't get all the corners to meet neatly inside. And sometimes things seem to be moving more than they should, and there's certain places, and I can use the video tools here to point out where it looks like things are moving in a way that's decidedly wonky, which isn't good when you're trying to create something that's symmetrical. So I'll just use Control Z to go back. If I inset this not quite as much, and then invert the selection so I have the other bit, I can try and do it sort of in, in the other way round, inside out. So instead of intruding into the shape, I'm going to extrude the shape, and to get these holes I'm going to use the Shell Extrude command. So if I Shell Extrude normal, you can see the triangle is getting smaller, proportional to the outside, and so I'll head, head for about that sort of size. And then if I deselect by pressing space, entire object, and select the middle, I can get rid of the middle and we can go inside, and you can look and the geometry inside, where these corners meet, is looking quite good. Now for a bit of variety, and because I want to take advantage of this knowledge about the way the materials are respected in Bryce, I'm going to select the entire shape and smooth it once, and then I'm going to get these loops that are joining through the holes. So if I select the edge tool here, and then select a few of these, and press identical to try and pick more of them up, and then L for loop, so just identical and loop till I can get all these loops running into the middle. Look over the shape and see if it's more or less everywhere. Right click and bevel. So that's given me that. And and then at this stage, what I'm going to do, in case it's created some instances where the, uh, the, the corners are joining, which is a bit of a risk when you do beveling to the maximum extent, we'll do right click on the full object and clean up. That will have got rid of any where two corner points have met exactly, and then I want to get these areas, well, that area there. So if I select these faces, I'll use identical to pick those up, like so, like so. Obviously, there's not that many identical for some reason. So like that, and that. Um, so have I got everything yet? No, there's still some more. So I'm just going to work my way around the shape and uh, try and some some uh, pressing I now, some will uh, be identified as identical. Right, now at this point I'm going to intrude the shape, as I said before, so intrude a bit. And what I want to do is split this off, so this area that's currently selected is going to be a different material, and it's also going to be smoothed. So by selecting uh, that in the material options, I'll be able to select and smooth that in Bryce, and have this outer area as faceted and unsmoothed. So I'll just Smooth it a bit in here to give Bryce a bit of a head start, not too much, otherwise slow wings down too much. Right click, right click on material, new material, and just make sure I don't make it red, that's the key, otherwise it's hard to tell what's selected. So go OK, and that's given that material, you can see the material has been split up. It's only recognising it's one object in wings, but once it's been exported and imported into Bryce, it'll become two objects, so this inner smooth surface will be able to select it separately from this outer surface. So that's that. i uh, better give it some uh, loops, otherwise it won't fit the video name. So I'll select these areas here. Let's see if I can pick them up, see if there's any of that are identical. So if I use the G command to bring that round. See, there's a few of these, isn't there? And G. For some reason, those top sections are not uh, coming out. There must be some funny on the geometry that is not recognising that as a edge edge loop for some reason. Probably have to select them all manually. Hopefully that won't take too long. If I use the identical command, that can help. Just have to be a bit careful not to uh, select the wrong bit of the surface. Have I got everything now? Nope. 
So that, that, that. It's because it's uh, obviously that with the smoothed area it's quite a complex shape now. It seems to be this top facing edge there that's not uh, getting picked out for some reason. It's quite difficult to spot sometimes with all these lines. So, okay, nearly there now I think. So the thing to do is press C and then I'll see whether the lines run round the other way or whether there's any missing areas or these areas are missing. Then press Ctrl Z and I can go back and select them. Unlike top mod, when you go back, uh, it at least Wings remembers what things you'd got selected, which is a very handy feature. And uh, it's not as unstable as top mod. I don't think though some people make some incredible shapes with top mod. I don't know quite how they've managed it. It uh, has me tearing what little hair out that I've got left after a very short time. Right, as this will soon if I can't uh, control Z sort this out. Connect C. Right, they must be getting close now. Oh, and there's more there. Look, control Z. Um, that one. That one. That one. Press identical. Press G. Right. Press C again. This is only because I wanted the loop so it did fit in with the file. Right. Oh no, there's another one there. Control Z, select, select, C, cut, OK. That must be it. That must be it. There's bound to be one more. I've not seen one yet. You watch when I bevel it, it'll become obvious. So right click and bevel. Take a moment. Right, select that. Let's see where I've missed it then. Come on. That, there must be one where I've missed it not seen it yet. Okay, right, so at this point I'm just going to ex shell extrude that, take it out so that um, these surfaces are more or less meeting in this inner triangle. Obviously with the geometry getting quite complicated now it's taking a little while to work out the shell extrude process. You just have to be patient. Uh, generally speaking wings will get there in the end, it's just sometimes the end can be quite a long way away. Right, so I'll just extrude that select that as an entire object, right click and combine that, so it just simplifies it in there and then smooth and smooth to turn those into loops so they loop around the outside so there'll be a mixture of smooth and faceted. I might do that one as a, a transparent material, or really stress the render engine and uh, then right click and right click for material, so I have to select the face, I have to forget that Right click on material, new material 2, and give it another colour, which is easy enough, just make it that cyan colour, OK. So I've now got three materials, and go file and export object, and this can be uh, thing, wings, uh, wings, thing with loops, three, there you go. Right, so probably take a little while to export and then I'll create a couple of renders to go with the video. So essentially that's it, that's the end of the video. I hope you found that interesting and that we'll have a go at creating one of these shapes in Wings 3D.